Most of these pipelines are going through indigenous lands everywhere you walk. People are signing and taking initiative to really stop this pipeline. Despite what's going on in the courts, just like what happened at Dakota Access Pipeline, the, these companies will stop at nothing. Anytime something like this happens, uh, yeah, but, you know, it, it's a good thing for now. But we also know that the struggle continues. We fought the fossil fuel industry in the Black Hills back in the late 70s, early 80s. They always come back because it's, it's greed. It's all about dollars. They don't care about anything else. And they're gonna push through. But we've got to be mobilized and we have to be ready. As Indigenous people, it is our duty and our sacred right to, to protect the land and the water because the water is our first medicine. We're the caretakers of Mother Earth, so that's what we do, take care of her as best as we can, you know. The oil pipelines, they break and it's going to pollute the land where nothing can grow. It's a struggle for everybody. We all got to drink water. We all got to breathe the air. I ask that you join us. You join our fight. I learned over the years of struggle with the American Indian Movement, it's always been a land struggle and with the power of allies. And that's what we're asking, for people to just continue to join with us. Keep in touch with those that are on the ground fighting this pipeline because a lot of us that we do this, you know, we don't get paid to do this. We just do it with what we have. Come stand and do what's right for not only indigenous people, but for all life. If that comes to you from in here, then go with it. There's a reason why you feel that way. And go with it if you're able to go with it. Just go and find out.